Hey buddies, it's Dylan, and welcome to Season 2 of Sealed Only, now called Sealed Only Hard Mode. And the reason it's called Hard Mode is because we have made Sealed Only even more challenging than it already was. And the way that we're doing that is we're not allowing myself to get certain packs. So I said that for, for Sealed Only Hard Mode, I am not allowed to use any sets that come with predetermined cards. So I can't use uh, Structure Decks, I can't use Dual Devastator, uh, we're only going to be opening up things that are random. I know, <laughs> expect me to lose for like the next month. And since right now we are still under uh, quarantine orders, obviously, make sure you guys are staying home, staying safe. Uh, I'm going to be doing the cards online, and obviously, if it comes to the point where we can go back to the locals, I will just have to make my sealed only deck in person. Uh, so that should be fun. Hopefully I don't pull any really expensive cards that I don't already own, because I don't own any Eldritch cards, so man, this is going to be an expensive series. Okay. We're also going to be upping up the budget a bit. Before it was $40 MSRP, now we're going to go up to $50 MSRP because like I said, we don't have the ability to buy predetermined sets. And the set that we're going to start off with actually is going to be Secret Slayers. And the reason I cho we chose Secret Slayers is because it's got three solid archetypes in it. Well. Rika, but it's got Eldritch and Adam Emancipator, which are some of the best decks right now. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go into Secret Slayers. We're gonna be opening up 10 packs of these. I have Dueling Book opened up on a second monitor, and we're gonna be opening up these 10 packs and uh, seeing what we pull. Okay, first pack. Okay, not really anything good. <laughs> okay, that's our first pack done. Let's try number two. Uh, okay, there's like some good starters in here. We got Lone Fire and Yuna Zombie. Marina. <laughs> Can we just point out that Marina says zero dollars? Just doesn't even give the sense. Just, it, it's worthless. Man, that's a, that's a way to feel. Okay, second pack done. Third pack. Hey, we got Adam Peter Seeker. Something tells me that we're going to be playing Rika's for quite a bit until we can actually get good at Emancipator cards. Oh wait, that's three down. Four. Hey, we actually got two pretty good cards. We got Adam Emancipator Signs and Teardrop of the Rika Queen. Did you guys ever take typing class as a kid? Because I did not. That's why I'm so slow. Ill blood. Sounds like a gang member. Okay, four packs down. Fifth pack. Uh, second Lone Fire, that's nice. That's five packs down, let's go for six. Rika Glamour, okay. I think that's our third copy of Sandman, so if we see another Sandman, then we're not just gonna write it. We're just, yeah, we don't need to write it down. And our first copy of Rika Glamour, okay. That's six down, let's go for seven. Elixir of the Black Awakening. Man, we're getting a, a lot more uh, Eldritch cards than I thought we were gonna get. Okay, so that is pack seven, let's go for eight. Another Rika Glamour and our third Lone Fire. Okay, that's eight. Let's go nine. Ooh, so this is the last pack. Hit it. Ah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess. Man, this is not looking good. So we can take out seven cards. And I don't know which seven to take out. I guess we can take out all the black and white awakenings because we can't summon an Eldritch monster. Okay, we'll take out these four, five, six. Wait, what does this even do? Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of that. Anyways, this is gonna be our deck for week one of sealed only hard mode, and I will see you guys when the tournament starts. Actually, before the tournament starts, I wanna show you guys how you can sign up for one of these tournaments yourselves. All you need to do is head on over to FusionGamingOnline.com. Then, in the search bar, you could type in Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament. Then you find the date that you are playing. So, I'm gonna be playing the Thursday, June 18th. I've already registered, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Then, you need to make sure you have an account with them. Hit 
add to cart and then once you add to cart you go through the whole payment process and look it says there uh click more for more details so as you guys can see it says we will be playing it on dueling book and you will also need the fusion gaming discord which is on the page where you sign up for the tournament that's how you're going to be communicating and finding out your results and finding out who you're going to play against and stuff but yeah it's simple as that and as you can see a lot of the pricing is in store credit so yeah once you have an account uh, they will give you your pricing into that account and you can use the store credit to buy pretty much anything. And don't forget when you're signing up for the tournament, you can use code BuddyForce5 for 5% off. Uh, but <laughs> with that further ado, I will see you guys when the tournament starts. Okay, so believe it or not, the tournament is actually done. Uh, there was four rounds and we only ended up playing three and then I dropped in the third round. Uh, we actually got a buy, but well, we'll get into that. So round one, we played against uh, this gentleman right here. We're just going to fast forward through. We're not going to really talk about it. The tournament went pretty much as I expected it to go. Obviously, our deck has no synergy whatsoever, and we lost badly. <laughs> uh, it was not good. It was not a good time. As you guys can see, like... If I, the only things I could do are very, uh, I guess, mediocre, so I can't really make any actual plays, because I'm assuming everybody else that I play against has a real deck, and I don't, <laughs> so yeah, you can see I was able to summon out like a 2800 attack monster, so that was pretty cool, and that was probably the best moment of the entire tournament. Going to game two, I think I got to go first, but obviously, like, what can I do? We don't actually have any zombies, I believe, other than Nine-Tailed Fox uh, to use Unizombie's effect on. So, yeah, not not really the best case scenario, but I this is how I assumed it was going to happen. For, like, the next couple weeks, probably going to be losing every single game. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be quite the long losing streak, but hopefully it's all worth it in the end, because if we keep opening up these packs... Who knows? We might actually have a pretty good deck on our hands because we are opening up like Eldelic and Adamancipator, which are really good decks right now. And then obviously the Rikas, um, there's something to fall back on. I feel like they're not that good, but if you can catch your opponent off guard, then maybe we'll be able to take a win. So that's the first game you guys can see absolutely getting floored and then uh, Round two we actually got the buy so <laughs> we didn't we didn't go uh, Zero wins for our first sealed only tournament. We actually won one of the rounds by uh, By default Anyways, here's round here's round three uh, you're actually gonna see me misplay quite a bit because I didn't actually read Doki Doki properly So I'm just gonna be backpedaling here. My opponent was okay with it. We were talking over discord and Yeah, you're gonna be seeing How I get beaten by trap tricks. He pops the polynosis, but it's not like I could use the polynosis anyways He's going off. He's just going straight off and there's really nothing I can do so he's gonna tie for what 4,000 here yeah, 4,000, then pass, and then all I can do is set the Doki Doki and watch as he just utterly floors me into the ground, because what am I going to do? Look at this hand. I had too many high-level monsters. That was the issue. I realized I didn't pull, like, any of the low-level uh, Rika monsters, so that was really unfortunate. So when I grabbed Glamour, I'm just grabbing these level 8s that I can't use. Uh, if we pulled even, like, one Rika pedal, that would have been nice. Yeah, we pulled all the search cards, but not the cards that we want to search with it, which is, I think, utterly hilarious. You see he goes into a redoer here, uh, starts popping stuff. He said that he had game, uh, but he just went for a suboptimal play. And then here's where the salt, I, I felt so bad. So I sent Block Dragon to the grave by using Rock Bombardment. And he just goes ahead and uses also the Earth Charmer to summon Block Dragon to his field. So, kind of unfortunate. All I could do is set pass. Uh, 
I think he even pops. He doesn't even like try attacking. Yeah, he just straight up pops it. Tax, tax for game. So that was the game, boys and girls. That was the tournament. Uh, one last look at the deck here. On obviously, it sucks so bad, but we're gonna be uh, hopefully working on this. Like we've got some good copies like we've already got three lone fire so we can build out rikas if we want the hard part is just going to be getting the emancipator cards and the other cards obviously uh but we do already have three white destiny and one black awakening so we'll see we're actually uh not too bad i thought it might have taken longer to get some black awakening uh we got two glamour for the rika so yeah like i said it looks like we will be making rikas first but hopefully yeah that's it uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's always fun for me to film these for you guys. I'm excited to be back. Hopefully this will be up every week. My schedule has been crazy because I am still working during all of this quarantining and stuff. So I ho will hopefully be able to upload this every week. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.